So you want to extract the data that is stored in a Microsoft Word form and import it into Microsoft Excel. And we want to do this for multiple forms. As we receive new forms, we want Excel to automatically pick up that new data. Now, the way we're going to do this is that we're going to put all the forms that we receive into a particular folder. As we add new forms, Excel will automatically extract the data from those new forms. So you can see I already have a folder set up and I've got forms from Chester Tugwell, myself, Greg, McGregor and Sue Kemp. And the interesting thing about these forms is that they're actually text files. So I need to show you how to export your forms as text files. So let's start by looking at the form that I've already created. To work with forms, you really need to show the developer tab. You may already have that visible on your ribbon, but just in case you haven't, right click on one of the other tabs, customize the ribbon and tick this option here, developer. And the form controls I've used here are the legacy form controls. So essentially I've used this option here, text form field. The exception is this one here. This is a drop down list. And for that, I used this option, drop down form field. Now, once you've got your form set up, you need to go to the restrict editing button. And in section two here, editing restrictions, tick this box, allow only this type of editing in the document and select filling in forms. And then you need to start enforcing protection. You can put in a password if you want. So I'll complete another form. Now this form must be saved in a particular way for this method to work. What you do is you go to File, Options, and then to Advanced. Scroll down to you see a section called Preserve Fidelity when sharing this document. And you tick this option here, Save Form Data as Delimited Text File. Click on OK. Now, what that will mean is when I go to File, Save, it will automatically save the file as a plain text file. So I'm going to give the file a name and then click on Save. You can see that it is going to export the data as a plain text file. And if I click on OK, it creates that text file in this folder. And if I opened up that text file, you can see the data there. So all these text files have the data laid out in the same way and stored in the same way. So you all have to make a decision in terms of how you're going to distribute your form. Are you going to distribute it with that option ticked? So as a reminder, that's File, Options, Advanced, scroll down, Preserve Fidelity when sharing this document, and I've ticked that option there. If that is ticked, whenever the end user saves their form, it will save it as a text file. If you don't have that ticked, you're going to receive the forms back as Word documents, and you'll have to go into each individual form and tick that option before you save. So how do I get that form data into Excel? Well, I'll open up Excel. So I've got a brand new spreadsheet and I'm going to go to the data tab on my ribbon. I'm going to get data from file from folder. I'm now going to navigate to the folder that I'm saving those forms in. And once I've selected that folder, I just click on Open. And Excel is now going to list all of the files in that folder. So what I need to do is go down to Transform Data at the bottom here. And I only want to import the text files. So a file with an extension .txt. So in the extension column, I'm going to untick select all and then tick text. Click on OK. Then what I can do is select this content column 
go up to remove columns, remove other columns, and then click on this button, combine files. It's just given me a preview of the first file in that folder. That looks fine. Click on OK. And you can see that it's extracted the data from the four text files in that folder. Now what I need to do is create names for these columns. So to rename a column, double click where you've got the existing column name and just type in your new column name. You can do that for all the columns. Now you can see in the mobile column, the leading zeros on these telephone numbers have been deleted. And the way to resolve that is to go to this applied steps list. And you can see there is a step there called change type. If you delete that and confirm your deletion there, you can see that it resolves that problem for you. Now you might then want to specify the data type stored in each of these columns. And you can do that by clicking on this little icon here where it's got ABC123. If you click on the button, and choose text there, text there, text there. This is also text. This is text. And this is text. So with your data, you may have numeric fields, in which case choose whole number, decimal number, or currency, for example. So once we've set up the data, and by the way, you'll only need to do this once, go to close and load up here, top left, and it'll import the data into Excel. Now, if I go back to Word and complete another form, so this time we have Mr. Keith Lemon, Email keith at email.com. Telephone number. And he heard about us through an ad in the paper. So I'll go to File, Save. It's automatically going to save it as a plain text file. So this is Keith Lemon. And it's been saved in the same folder as the other forms. Click on OK here. So back to Excel. Now all I have to do, I don't have to go back through those steps that we looked at before. We've done that and we only need to do it once. All I need to do is on the data tab, click on this refresh button. And you can see it brings through Keith's record into the Excel spreadsheet. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.